Friends, hi, hello, how are you? Welcome or welcome back to the Curvy E Chronicles. My name is Courtney and I am so glad you found your way to my little corner of the internet. And if this is the first video you're seeing, well, um, buckle up, it's about to be an adventure. We are vlogging today and tomorrow of me getting my first tattoo. I have been saving up for this in a sinking fund since, well, since I started my channel in February, but I've been started saving in January. So essentially my siblings guilted me into getting a tattoo together because they said they could not get the tattoo if I didn't do it too. So here we are, it is tattoo weekend. I am nervous, but in less than 24 hours, I will be under the needle. I'm nervous, but I think it's gonna be super fun. And I get sushi as a reward, so um, I'm happy about it. But anyway, right now I'm eating some lunch, finishing up some last minute things at home and packing. And then we are waiting on my brother to get here. He will be here in about, I don't have a watch. I don't know why I just did that. Um, he will be here in like an hour, I think is what my friend, my friend says. And then my mom gets off work about the time he gets here. So she's another hour out. And then we ride. While we are driving, I will make sure that I'm answering those 40 questions of get to know me. So this is gonna be a good trip. They're here and it is time. Let's hit the road. But of course, Editing Courtney here uh, to apologize for anything and everything that my family says during the uh, 40 questions because as I'm editing right now it um, I try to take out as much as I can but there are moments there are moments so here's my official apology for any of the sass that myself or my family tosses out into this video so read them out Viewer discretion is advised. <coughs> Do you have pets? Yes. <laughs> yes, we have two dogs, one cat. We have um, our copper and cold, our dogs. We have Koopa the cat, and then we have 17 chickens, only six of which have names. Question two. Why only six? Well, because the little ones, that's not question two. But the little ones, I haven't had the chance to name all 11 of them yet. But so far I've got, okay, two of them do have names. We have Black Betty and Black Beauty, because those are my Jersey Giants. Are you in a relationship? <laughs> yes, yes, married seven years, and we've been together for 11. Ain't it? Question three, do you drink alcohol? Yes. No, well, but we should. I <laughs> Only when I'm driving. <laughs> oh, shut up. Uh, yes, I am uh, recreationally only. So yes, I do drink. I do like my occasional Trulies. And then these three make me drink more. And the other two that are not currently present drive me to drink even more. So yes, yes, I do. I'm a functioning alcoholic. Okay, question four. Believe in God. I thought you were going to say, do you believe in life after love? I was going to. <laughs> yes, I am not religious, but I have great faith. It's what that one has taught me. So, yes, I do. And that's where we're going to leave that one. Number five. This one's an easy one. Hot dog or cheeseburger? Cheeseburger. Hands and down. Uh, when I had... Sluts like hot dogs. When I had... <laughs> When I had my children, the first thing I wanted after, like, my afterbirth meal was I wanted a burger and fries from Five Guys. That was, like, where it was at. Number six, favorite food. Ooh, favorite food. Pizza. Hands down. I could eat pizza or breakfast. Like, if we're talking, like, 
favorite types of meals, breakfast, 100% hands down. If it's one specific type of pizza. Waffle House, hash brown bowl. Ooh, is there a Waffle House in Utah? No. Damn. I just have been to the East Coast and the South so goddamn much lately. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> I get Waffle House pretty much every trip. That sounds good. Okay, question seven. Uh, what do you drink in the morning? Coffee. Like, at least minimum two cups. Because I have toddlers and that's the only way to survive. Coffee and I do drink water, but not as much as I should. Just take a shot to get me through the day. Oh my god, I hate you guys. Number eight. Can you do a hundred push-ups? <laughs> well, if that's any, indi any indication, no, I cannot. Like nor, one go or like... nor will I try. No, I can't. I, I'm pretty sure I can't even do a, two girl push-ups right now. You don't have like it doesn't give a timeline for it. No, it doesn't. Okay, I can do a push-up a day for 100 days. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay.
hours later, we have arrived at my sister's. And it is exactly 20 hours, I believe, right? Am I doing math right? No. Hmm. No, that's 2 a.m. your time. <laughs> Is when I got no. up this fucking morning. Noon. Tomorrow. How many hours from now? So we're at 20. 16 hours. Math is hard. Yeah. 16 uh, hours till 12, tattoo yeah. time. tattoos do you have three okay yes. so both very much experienced to my very much inexperienced so I am nervous that's okay all right we are going to answer ten more of my 40 get to know me questions let's do it okay so we left off at question 16 so do I believe in ghosts um, I like to think I don't, but then my mind takes over and I make things up and I like to think they are. So there's that. Uh, 17, rain or snow? Depends on the time of year. I'm not a huge fan of rain. I will take snow over rain, but when we hit February, um, I'm sick of snow. Do you have any piercings? Yes, my ears are pierced and that is all. Let's see, 19, what is your age? I will be 29 in two weeks. By the time you see this, it'll still be about two weeks. Um, French fries or onion rings? We're gonna open this one to the whole car. Okay guys, French fries or onion rings? French fries. French fries, French fries. yes. It takes, it takes a lot to um, make a good onion ring. I mean, I like both, but if I have a choice, it's definitely French fries. Um, do I have children? Yes, I do, I have two, and you've seen them both. They are adorable and I'm not biased. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is pink through and through from the very beginning. Number 23, can you sing? No, the answering that right away, no. Uh, well, I, I can. I was younger, but now she's gotten better. <laughs> I can, whether everyone else wants me to or not is uh, more of the question. Um, I can make deaf children cry. Can you whistle? Yes, yes I can. And we're gonna stop it here at 25. Where were you born? I was born and raised in Eastern Washington and that's all you're gonna get. So we will come back and answer the final 15 questions on our drive home. But until then, we um, got coffee because we can't go anywhere without a nice coffee. And we are headed to go get inked. through the outline. Now I have the tree fill-in and the color that has to go on there. But you're not too shabby.
evolutionary. All right, so it is eight after eight o'clock. I don't even know what time it is. Um, we started our appointment at noon. I went first. Um, we just left the tattoo parlor. Tattoo, I don't know what you want to call it. The place, the shop, tattoo shop. That's the word. Um, it was not that bad. Um, definitely, it, it, uh, there was some pain. But it was not as bad as I thought. Not as bad as I was building it up in my head. So everyone's right. It's not that bad. Um, it honestly feels like a cat scratching a sunburn. And I have to say, on Wednesday when we went to the pool this last week, I had a sunburn. I got a sunburn because I put sunscreen on my kids and they wanted to get in the pool so bad. I 100% forgot to put sunscreen on myself. So I have got a major sunburn. So that was also a helpful distraction <laughs> so that I wasn't um, focused solely on the pain of it, but um, it went well. It looks good. We all are really happy and now I get rewarded with sushi and I am starving because we did not take like a lunch break in there. We literally went and had like a big breakfast and it was not, I did not eat enough to make it like eight hours so I am starving I am ready for sushi and this is like we have a sushi spot where I live in the town the big city near me but it's not the same as like the sushi when we come to my sister's so I am excited for sushi and then we will be um, up tomorrow and headed back home. So it is a very quick trip, but it was a lot of fun. I could not film a whole lot in the tattoo shop because they asked me not to while he was working. Totally respect that. So I just videoed when he was done and like in the in-between times. I did also video some of my facial reactions because that was funny too. Just on some of the weird spots where it was like, ooh, that feels a little funny. So I got a few video clips while we were in the tattoo shop. Not a whole lot, but I will take <clears throat> a better photo, like video um, tomorrow morning when we've got some better sunlight in of what the bad boy looks like because I am going to have to clean it. He did put like the um, like bandagey stuff on there um, that kind of bubbles up when stuff, it keeps it from leaking. So it's starting to get a little filled with the stuff it's just like he like stuff from your skin healing from obviously being poked a million times with a needle so yeah it was a good time I I don't know that I will be getting another one anytime in the near near future um but I do know that if I am going to get something it is going to be dainty small and quick that's all there is to it so now on to dinner <laughs>
and discovery. Full honky. I've been able to skip for a long time. Can you swim, number 28? Yes, I can swim. I swim like a fish. Just chooses not to. No, I do. I like to go swimming when I can. We went to the pool the other day. Now I got kids, I gotta keep them alive. Uh, number 29, shower or bath? Um, I do enjoy me a nice bubble bath, um, bubble but bath. A bubble bath, bubble bath, a bubble bath. But uh, I, uh, I shower is usually like the time frame I have allowed. So I mean both. It's not really a. I enjoy both. Number thirty, city or nature? Oh, easy, easy hands down, nature. I live rurally, and I'm close enough to the big city to take care of all, or take advantage of all the amenities, but far enough to wait to say, you there. Oh, this one's a fun one. Number 31, are you a good friend? She has to have a friend. Wow, <laughs> straight to hate. Um, I would say that I am very much a ride or die friend, unless you break my trust. The minute you break my trust, it takes a very lot much to earn it back. Have you broken any bones? No. Unlike my siblings. Uh, number 33. How many TVs do you own? One. We uh, only have one in the living room, hence why I do not catch up on any um, series that is like all the rage. I barely get to watch um, current movies, let alone a TV series that doesn't revolve around children, aka my little pony, um, spirit, creature cases on Netflix. Well, and at my house, all we get is Netflix for streaming. We can't stream anything else worth the damn because our internet sucks. Bye bye, you're all right. Number 34, what was your worst pain ever? Ooh, uh, tailbone abscess. Yeah, you don't realize that that part of your body, um, how much every movement is affected by that part of your body. You're okay, bud. Go back to sleep. Someone is done. I mean, in the car. Um, yeah, but I had a tailbone cyst that turned to an abscess, and that by far was probably my worst pain. We were very rudely interrupted. Someone's not having a good time. So, where were we? Number what? Number 35. Do you like to dance? Yes. Should I dance? Probably not. But I do love to dance, and so do both my children. 36. Camping or hotel? Well, okay. It depends on the situation. I like to camp over everything. But, depending on where we're going, sometimes a hotel is nice too. Like, going to the hotel for Mother's Day? 1010 recommend. I got to sleep. No one needed me. It was fabulous. If we're going out as family, sure, camping. It's going to be fun no matter what. But I, I, that one's a, it depends on the situation. Uh, this one's an interesting one. Uh, honesty check. Do you think you're weird? Oh, yeah, 100%. Everyone's weird. If, you're, if you think you're not weird, then you're weird. <laughs>
Um, I would really like to get one of the Marcy has them from Managing Marcy, and I'll link her down below. She's got the like green, I don't know, it's the tiered things that you can grow herbs in. I forget what they're called. Um, I want to do that next year. I'm going to save up some money to buy one of those to put on the porch to do herbs. So that's like one thing I would like to do. That'll be my goal. If I can keep that alive, we might have turned a new leaf. Come on, see what I did there? I totally forgot to tag the five new people that get to do the 4D about get to know me questions. So I am tagging Toya from Toya's Tenacious Life, Taylor from A Little of It All, April from April Budgets, Ren from Mischief, Man Mischief Manage Budgets, and Kim over at Debt to None. So I cannot wait to hear you guys answer your 4D questions. Um, this was fun and yeah, I think that's all I got. So enjoy the rest of our little road trip home. And until next time, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for all of the fun shenanigans that are to come. Because we have lots more this summer. Cooking. Gardening. Just kidding. I might do a garden tour once my husband weeds the garden. Um, but cooking, budgeting, cash stuffing, all the fun things. We've got a vlog coming up uh, going to Utah to see this one. And then I've got some other fun things planned and in the works, so keep an eye out. And I will quit rambling, so until next time, remember to spread kindness like glitter, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.